Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to plot the discrete time signals using stem uh, functions in MATLAB and Simulink. Both will uh, create a simple MATLAB script and also uh, make a Simulink model. And the equation we will use for that is, uh, we will use a periodic analog signal, which is this one. One of the audience uh, on my YouTube uh, comments gave me this equation and the equations for this. So, uh, let's continue. In the MATLAB environment, let's first quickly do it for the uh, uh, MATLAB part. I'll save this script saying discrete time signal plot. You can name this method, uh, uh, this file, anything, it doesn't matter. And now, uh, I think uh, first and foremost, I will I will also copy this equation as it is. Yeah, I, can, I can type it also, but not a big deal. And no one by one, I'll quickly create the variables. So what we need is uh, omega or basically the function. So that should be 2 pi and I think 24 hertz is what the, uh, I, I can put fs equals to 24 and I can use this uh, 24 uh, fs here. Yeah. And time, uh, I think again I'll play with different timelines. So probably to start with, I'll go for G up to five with a time step size of 0.1. Perfect. Okay. So now once we have this uh, uh, variables, we can even use plot. Uh, I'll show both. So plot will be t comma y, but this will be more of a linear like uh, plot, not a discrete time plot. Uh, a continuous plot this will be and <coughs> probably I can use some kind of marker as well <coughs> and yeah that will plot the marker but of course I will also we can also use something called a stem to plot it and a stem also follows almost similar syntax where we can use t comma y yeah but one by one, first I will comment out this and quickly run this to see. So yeah, this is the plot which I am getting over here. And now what I will do is, I will uh, create probably another figure so that I can get another plot and uncomment and run it again. Perfect. So this is what the uh, our plot comes for this stem meter. I think I can quickly toggle to the other one as well. So yeah. This one comes here and this also probably I can put it here. So yeah, both the images are coming. Uh, both the plots are coming. Uh, so this is for continuous and this is for the discrete time. So that's, yeah, that's what I quickly wanted to show on the, from the MATLAB side. Now let's do the same thing for the Simlink. We'll create a Simlink model and see how it can be done. The Simlink model. So we'll create a blank model. And uh, of course, first I will do is save this model and probably I'll keep the same name, but of course, append by something like SL for Simlink. Perfect. Uh, now, for us to implement this equation, uh, it's pretty simple and easy. So, what we'll need is a sum block which can sum these three. Uh, Parameters. So first, I'll put a sum block to be sum, and over here, I'll just change the some of the arguments here, and I'll make it as rectangular. Perfect. Make it bigger. No, that was something wrong. Perfect. Okay, so there's something to create a connection. Yeah, I know this. I know this. Okay, of course. Okay, so apart from this, in this sum block, this will be my like output. So uh, some of this, all this three will be my y. So I can put it a uh, scope here probably to see the output quickly. And the input to this will be sine, cos, and uh, another sign, but with uh, uh, with some gain factor. So I'll just quickly put some gain blocks here, and uh, this could be over here, and. Perfect. Okay. And the value of this gain block will be minus 3. So minus 3. This for the second argument and this could be plus 2. So I'm going in the other uh, like yeah, one by one 
in the reverse order I am going. So I have taken care of the initial parameters minus 3 and minus 2 plus 2 here. Now uh, I will let me include sign and uh, yeah sign uh, signal and what else I need is a cos but yeah I need to sign in fact. So this can go here and one cos cosine block perfect and these things will go the output of this will go here output of this will go here and output of this will go here directly perfect now uh, all these three will require an input called time so let me quickly create a clock block and uh, the And the input of clock will go here, but we have to multiply the frequency as well. So we'll need another constant block with a product block. Okay. So let me not confuse you. First, let me create a quickly a product block for all the three. So yeah, one, two. Three. So this is I mean the people who loves designing will love all this doing very easy and simple. And one of the input for all the threes are definitely. Uh, no, I think I could have done this way. And yeah, is this one definitely? And the other input for all this will be okay. Let me bring it a little bit far like this because I'll be using the internal space for creating my other variable. And uh, for the first one, uh, the okay, I'll now include constant blocks. And again, I'll need uh, probably three constant blocks. So one, two, and three. Yeah. So this input will go here. So I could have made all of this a little bigger. Easy for us to. Yeah. Okay. I should have done this a little earlier, but nevertheless, looks it should not take much time. I can make it also a little bigger, and I can make this also. little bigger yeah. okay so this goes here and what about this so no, let me first pull this up and let me pull this here perfect so now we have three constant blocks with uh yeah probably can make it like this yeah okay now the first constant block it will be Omega, which is basically 2 pi fs, fs is 24. So, what I'll do is I'll just hard code here 2 into pi and then multiply by 24. So, I could have taken as a environment variable as well, but I, I'll just make it a little bigger so that we can visualize what is the value of the constant block. The se second one will be 2 into omega, so which is basically 4 times 4 into pi into 24. Perfect. And I think the third one will be 6 because it's 3 times, so it will be 6. So I can just make it bigger. So it will 6 into pi into 24. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's all. I think uh, let me run and see what happens. So let me open the scope. Perfect. Some kind of plot comes, but I think this plot is a bit different than the other plot, which is. If I go here, I, I probably I can pop it out. This is for five, uh, and this is for around ten uh, period, ten time, and ten seconds. So I just change it to five and rerun the code. I yeah, know it looks better, but it is still like a continuous, and we have to change it to the uh, type stem. So what we can do? We can quickly. Okay, not in this configuration. We have to go to I think. Uh, view and then uh, a style yeah. over here we can change it uh, to type I think uh, no, not this one uh, not this one the type is uh, over here stem and apply perfect so this is what I wanted to show that we have to change the plot type as stem over here in the uh, style of the uh, scope and of course okay i'll go back and quickly pop this out back so that we can see it undock and probably i'll put it a bit smaller yeah so that we can see everything in parallel so, 
yeah perfect and if i can pull it up almost similar size so perfect so yeah we can see and uh, yeah so the signal what we are getting the output we are getting from both matlab and the simlink code uh, matlab code in the simlink model is precisely the same so that's all i wanted to show you how easy it is to plot discrete time signal you can either create this kind of simulating model uh, from the uh, equation given equation and even uh, we can write the matlab uh, script this kind of script for the very same purpose okay so that's all uh, i hope you like this video and if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice